we're gonna go to an estate sale today um, they have a lot of salvage items um, from what I saw in the photos and I'm really excited because we built a wood pergola in the backyard and I wanted to add some kind of wood detail some kind of decorative detail like a corbel um, and I really don't want to buy like new wood corbels only because they are pretty expensive they can run like 30 to 50 a piece if you've ever seen them at Home Depot and I need 12 so I really don't want to do that <laughs> so hopefully we can find some at this estate sale to salvage and then after that I'm gonna stop by like an antique store and a thrift store um, because they're having their holiday events so that means that they're bringing out all their Christmas stuff um, so I'm so excited to go shopping for Christmas um, I'm really excited to decorate the house for Christmas so yeah let's go see what they have Muffy do you want to go no you don't want to go baby all right, let's go. So the first stop is the estate sale and there really was a lot of salvaged items. Whoever used to do projects here, they dabbled in everything. Like this window was gorgeous, um, but there was a lot of wood trim or brackets. Um, so I did pick up a few. I did forget to bring gloves. I had to be really careful because there was a lot of nails sticking out. So always remember, if you're gonna be really rummaging through things, like if it's a picker sale, bring your gloves. And there was a lot of furniture, a lot of chairs that needed a lot of work. Uh, this was a really pretty piece, it caught my eye. And then this room was filled with all kinds of books. I did end up finding this really neat journal And there was a lot of light fixtures. These sconces were so pretty. And I just thought this was a really cool, look like original kitchen since it didn't have like updated cabinetry. And here is their beautiful garden. So that was it for this state sale. So now let's head to the thrift store and do some Christmas shopping. So this was the first day of the sale and they had a lot of Christmas decorations, like a lot. It was so fun to go through. These glasses were so cute. I ended up getting a few of those. And these nutcrackers were so cool and I'm so sad because I decided not to get any of them. It was $100, but I didn't know at the time that that is how much they go for or even more. Um, and I'm so sad I didn't get it. I did come back to check and it was already gone. I did go through all the linens to check if there was any tablecloths or mats that I would want to pick up. I didn't see any. I did see this really cool robe. It reminded me of Home Alone. Um, so I did pick that up. It was only $3. That's it for the thrift store. So now let's head to an antique store. So at this antique store, they're having their Christmas event as well. So everything is decorated in Christmas. The owner was also having a sale on non-Christmas items, so everything else was 50% off. Um, so I did end up picking up a few non-Christmas items. I think I only bought one Christmas item here. I love this store. I love rummaging through everything. It's very small, but there's so much to go through. Like I can literally stay in here for an hour or more going through the shelves because there's so much. And sometimes like I'll do another round because I know I'm gonna miss something. <laughs> So that is it for this antique store. Now let's go home and do a quick haul. All 
Okay, so this is my haul from today from um, not the estate sale, but what I'm showing you here right now is from the antique store, the thrift store, and then like one or two things from Marshalls. The stuff from the estate sale I have in the backyard, so I'll take you there later. From the thrift store, I got these two aprons. So I bought one for me, this one, and then one for Tan. Um, because I want to bake like do some Christmas baking or cooking the next thing that I got was this advent calendar this was $10 and then I got this wood ornament and this is really cute because look you pull it and his antlers go up <laughs> it's adorable this one as well, this is another wood one, and his little tail. So this is a little horse, like a wood horse. And he was $5. And then this little bear was $3. I always love all like the wood ornaments, like I'm a sucker for them. So the next thing that I got from the thrift store is this set of four glasses. So I thought these would be really cute for Christmas. And I also got this robe. It's large, extra large, but it's like oversized, but it still fits. Um, I think this was $3. It fits tan better than me, but I told him we'll share. Because <laughs> I think it's so cute. And the last thing that I got from the thrift store is this pillow it's not Christmas at all but I love needlepoint and I love floral this is all from a antique store that I love it's a really small antique store but I love this store it's like jam-packed with so many goodies and knickknacks so I did get this ribbon it's a vintage ribbon and it has like Santa Claus and all the toys and then I got this candlestick. It was $8.50. Um, and because it was 50% off, I got it for $4.25. And I also got these two brass frames that were made in Italy. And both of them were listed at $14 each. And then I got this brass stand. I love these for putting books or artwork on. I, already, I think I have one or two other ones, so this one was nice. And then this one was listed at 15 so I got that for $7.50. And the last thing I got is literally my favorite thing from today. So this is called a smoker, and he's a little Santa Claus kind of snowman guy. Uh, but they are, like it has, this one has the tag, and here, let me see if you can see it. So these are handmade in Germany and a lot of them go for quite a bit of money but I got this for 45 and the way that they work and I'm really excited because I accidentally popped it off and I was really confused like what this was uh, but you put like the incense cone and you pop it in and then you close them up and then smoke comes out of whatever holes that they have. But he just has the little mouth, um, so he'll have like smoke coming out. And the scents I was looking at, they have like Christmas themed scents. Um, so I'm putting in an order for that online. I think I found like a pack on Amazon, so I'm gonna try it out and put him out for Christmas. He's just the cutest little guy. And then I also made a quick stop at Marshall's. I got this candle. It has this cute embroidered top and it's cinnamon cider. It smells so good. I got that bed you could see in the back. I wanted the dogs to have a more festive Christmas looking bed. So I love the plaid and obviously she loves it. She's nice and cozy in there. So let's go in the back and I'll show you what I got at the estate sale.
So this is what I got from the estate sale. I got four types of brackets or corbels. Um, I got pairs of all of them. I just didn't put them on the table. And then I think I got maybe like three pieces of this little one. Um, so we'll test them out later and see which ones look best on the pergola. I got these two journals. I think each of them was $2 a piece or $3. I can't remember. These, um, this one wasn't even used. And this one had the first few pages used but then the rest were blank and I thought this was so cute because this person really liked to document the things that they were eating at their dinner party and like who went it's always fun to find like memorabilia like this and that was it from the estate sale so I wanted to test fit all of the corbels or wood trim pieces that I did pick up at the estate sale on the pergola to try to get an idea of what would look best, what kind of design would look best on the pergola. This first one was okay. I think it's a little bit too ornate. I feel like the pergola needs something a little bit more simple. And this one, I think as soon as I clamped it up, I was like, I hate it. <laughs> it just was too much. And there was a lot of blank space in the middle of that corbel and it was not even going to be an option. This one's a really cool one, but just not right for the pergola. I think it would be really nice in some other project that we have. So we're not going to be using this design. This last one was the smallest one, and I actually like this one a lot better. I think it's small, it's simple, it doesn't take away from the pergola. It adds a little bit of nice detail that catches the eye. The only problem with using this wood corbel is that we only bought three at the estate sale and I need 12 and our pergola is made out of redwood and I'm not sure what kind of wood this is made out of but um, it is a different wood so the colors aren't matching. And my amazing husband Tan of course came up to me and said hey, you know I have a lot of scrap redwood from making the pergola, so I can use that wood bracket as a template and recreate it so that the brackets actually match the pergola since they're gonna be made of redwood as well. So I was like, yes, please, that would be insanely amazing. So Tan first is using a jointer and this is to square the two sides of the rough lumber. Next, he's using a table saw to create a parallel side to the jointed side, and he repeated this three more times, and that's to create enough surface area for a board. And the next thing he's doing is using a planer to plane the board down to a desired thickness. And now he's attaching all of the squared lumber into one board by using wood glue and clamping it down. And he left it clamped together overnight. So it's the next day and Tan used the smaller corbel that we got from the estate sale as a template and used it to outline the shapes on the board that he made. And now he's using a bandsaw to cut out all of the shapes for the corbels he's making. Mm -hmm. 
So after cutting out all of those wood corbel pieces from the boards he made, he did seal all of them with Hellsman Outdoor Finish since they are going to go on the pergola that's outside and we just want to protect it from the elements like rain and wind and dirt and all of that. And this is all of them completed. He made a little extra just in case, so we have 14. So right now I'm taking down our fall decorations we had for the dog's um, Halloween photo shoot so that he can attach those corbels to the pergola. So he's just using a nail gun to attach them. He's putting two nails, one on each end. And this is it. It's all done. It looks so adorable. The little curves just add so much more character than it had before. So I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I hope you join us for the next vlog.